Alright, so here we have a fully automatic tree farm using the azalea saplings. So basically, it is a huge machine that doesn't require a player to play saplings. It has its own saplings being made. And as you can see, um, it grows, pushes the trees along, and then a TNT comes and uh, destroys everything. And this is what we've gotten so far in roughly like 10 to 20 minutes. So it's pretty decent. Um, it's not as good as traditional tree farms where you have a player placing them because you have a guaranteed sapling and tree growth where here you kind of it's kind of random um, and I'm gonna explain more on how the how the basically the saplings work so basically how this farm works is by using uh, kind of like this gimmick I guess you could say where basically when a bone meal when bone meal is on uh, moss or basically when you bone meal moss it will basically grow stuff like normal grass except as we do it we get um, azalea, basically these guys, except we want this to grow here. And these azalea saplings, if we just bone meal these guys, we get a huge uh, tree. So let me get some bone meal and we get a big tree just like that. And then that way we don't have to have a, um, a player basically having to grow this. And the cool thing about these trees is that they produce another type of block called the rooted dirt, except we don't really want rooted dirt because um, moss won't, like you won't be getting the azalea stuff uh, growing on this, but it does not matter since moss is so kind of weird. It can basically, once you bone meal this block again, it's going to convert this rooted dirt that was created from growing the azalea sapling into moss again. Hopefully, at some point. There it is. Just like that. Also, another weird thing about moss is that if you grow something, as you can see right here, there is a carpet on there. You can't grow another one. So we need to constantly be breaking whatever grows on top of here. So that's basically the idea around this farm. So basically what happens is that when we get a azalea sapling to grow, like right here, all we do now is that we have dispensers around, and then we just spam those dispensers until the azalea sapling grows. Uh, I don't know why it's not growing. Maybe it's because this is here. Let's do this instead. Oh, it's probably because we have a... Uh, I know why. We have redstone up top. That's a big reason, right? Please? There you go. <laughs> yeah, trees can be very weird like that too. And we have to take that onto account. Um, if you have stuff above these dispensers, usually it doesn't the tree doesn't like it it takes longer for it to grow and that just causes more problems because the longer it takes to grow the more likely it will um just not work and basically we go through another cycle so basically what happens is that when we get something to grow uh let's get a bigger growth so now we, we have something we we have stuff that grew um and let's say this wasn't here we need to remove this stuff or else it's just going to stay there and basically what we have our double piston extenders so basically how this works is that this one goes off then this one and basically that clears this front part of the moss and then we retract it all back uh using kind of doing like that and it's it's a bit of a it's a bit a bit of a nuisance you need to activate this piston then this piston then retract this piston then bring this piston back and then bring the middle piston back so it's kind of it's kind of a deal um so yeah and this machine right here is basically the culmination of everything um so all this piston stuff right here is basically controlling that system over there that i just showed you where the pistons move uh, i can quickly show you if we clear some room up here there you go so basically we have the pistons here working and if i just click this button right here perfect and basically that's how it works um so we can click this piston and we can see it working so that is that that is the way that the logs are pushed that way and into a tnt dropper thing that will destroy all the wood um we have clocks we have um, a ton of things we have um, a little way of producing more bone meal because of the byproduct of whatever is on this why that is weird uh, that should not be there okay let's put that back I don't know why it was like that um, somehow it was working though anyways so yeah now if we turn on the farm Basically, what we have is a lot of stuff going on, but let's just look at kind of what's going on. Man, it is kind of dark. Maybe I'm going to try on my shaders for this part. But yeah, as you can see, the azaleas grow. 
and then these bone meal these dispensers on the side are shooting bone meal into them and it will force them to grow hopefully we can get one but as you can see we need to keep removing all that but there you go there's a tree right there and um yeah we just get trees every now and then and the only problem with this farm so far is that i don't have a way of putting bone meal back into these into these dispensers honestly these dispensers don't use a ton of bone meal because it just grows whatever's here and then it stops uh, using bone meal um, I do have another version where it does uh, put bone meal into here but it doesn't seem to it causes the saplings to um, take more time to grow as we're spamming them with bone meal um, and like sometimes blocks uh, like wood it doesn't matter they like wood so they'll grow in front of wood but like for example concrete and all this uh, they can basically hinder the growth of the saplings so yeah as you can see it, it does pretty well honestly this is probably the best version that i have i do have another version of course with the with the bone meal that goes into the dispenser but yeah that's basically how it works and i just want to show you guys uh this kind of cool tree farm um, if you guys are interested, I might create a tutorial on this. It's not super hard. There's just a lot of things kind of going on, as you can see, um, as things are moving and things like that. We got like a ton of clocks going on, but yeah, it's not super hard to build. Um, so yeah, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.